Get your harpoons ready, everybody. We're going whale hunting. Zombie whale hunting. What is a zombie whale? I'm sure it's just what it sounds like, but... Why are they floating? It's, I, I get it, they're zombies, so they can survive outside of the water if zombie whales have the same... <laughs> the same way of being as, you know, human zombies, but why can they float? That doesn't make sense. But who cares? This song, um... I just picked it because we're in the forest and because... I think a lot of people forget that, um... Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars has a banger soundtrack. It's really good. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember the name, but I'm pretty sure it's the same composer who did uh, the Kingdom Hearts games, which I'm also a big fan of their music, so it makes sense why I like this too. So that thing looks so goofy when Tifa's punching it in the face. Like <laughs> it's just how rapidly his face is moving around, just getting rocked. So yeah, this team, uh, this is like my new favorite team right now. Um, I could have went the, you know, the Terra Lightning Yang route, but I feel like I've done that a lot. And I kind of want to just have fun with newer stuff. And I'm really enjoying uh, Bart's and Tifa. And speaking of Bart's, is it just me or... Okay, I remember the consensus when Bart's was coming up was, yeah, pull him because he's a future investment, which is true. But I heard a lot of rumblings about him being, like, just okay this time around. But then being awesome later. He seems a lot more than okay this time around. I don't know, like, he seems really damn good. I'm a big fan of him. Like, this orb right now, well, it's basically done right, right now, but... This is all Bart's. He's completely dealing with it, and... I just love his burst effect at three stacks. That's why I always just burst with him right away. And then stuff goes down so fast. You hook up Tifa and Yang with that, it's incredible. Big fan of it. Oh yeah, these things put up shields, I think, three separate times. The first shield is bullshit. It just goes away so fast. I think it's only like 10k or something. No, it's more than 10k. No, it's like 100k. What am I saying? 10k. I missed a zero. That's all you got. Is some dust that won't break us. Because Yangus... You blowing bubbles? So, so you're a big-ass zombie whale with those teeth being all threatening and you're gonna just blow bubbles. My kids blow bubbles. You are all bark and no bite. Off topic, but I also wanted to give a big thanks to Rabtoons, the guy who does the Final Fantasy in a Nutshell series on YouTube. That guy just gave the Dystopia Discord server like 10 emojis, which he didn't have to do. So that was pretty cool. I was about to say I was surprised with how quickly this, this fight ended, but I'm not. Like, now with this team, this team is monstrous. I'm, I'm a big fan of them. I know I'm repeating myself now, but they're, they're great. Oh, this song is from uh, Mario RPG also, uh, Final Fight against Smithy. And I don't want to hear spoilers. That game is so old. I don't want to hear... Well, I didn't spoil the plot anyway, so whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, I got a Roja in 10 tickets, by the way. I didn't even level her yet. Um, I kind of just rushed to do this. But, I mean, I'm going to build her. I mean, I, I bought her EX with uh, tokens and everything, so I'll, I'll build her. I don't know how much I'll use her. I kind of just want to have her in the arsenal. And may maybe I'll find some fun stuff with her later. Maybe. Ma don't hold me to this, but maybe, maybe I'll build her and come back to this stage with her. That's a big maybe. It, it depends on time. It's more bubbles! You suck! Just put up shields and blow bubbles. You guys stink. One thing I kept hearing about this fight is, uh, make sure they're always broken. So, yeah, Yang is very good at making sure they're always broken since he's always hitting them. Tifa, of course. Bart with instant break. I kind of went overkill on the make sure they're always broken. But, hey, it worked out. Oh, they're also, um, if you're unaware, they're resistant to melee attacks. So that's another reason why Bart's is here and I gave the Fujin call to, uh, Yang. 
So, if you don't have a Fujin's LD and you want to run a comp like this, it, mm, that that's going to be tough. I mean, yes, I know that the uh, the base Fujin call enchants, but it's only for three turns. If you were to put Terra here instead of Tifa, and maybe, yeah, probably like Lightning instead of Barth or something, I'm sure the uh, that the um, base Fujin call will be more than enough because Yang's barely going to take turns anyway. You can just put it on the be in the beginning and just spam and let it last for the whole fight. But I didn't want to do that. So I did this. Costume change! Go back to your original look. Oh, did anybody notice that uh, <laughs> the, the co-op quest for this event is called Deep Moaning? Yeah, you heard that correctly. Deep Moaning. What were they thinking with that name? You're all thinking it. All of you. Uh, why? Why? <laughs> of all the names I could have picked. But who is on that team that named stuff? Not a single person raised their hand and went, Hey, maybe something other than deep moaning. They, they all went, No, sounds good to me. What the hell? Okay, so at this point, we can just focus the one on the right because the one on the left is going to die of Yang kicks. So we don't have to look at him anymore. Yang's got this. With the help of Bart's, of course. Yeah, I mean, I I did kind of want to level the uh, I did kind of want to level the Rojo to at least use her call for this, but just looking at the other calls I had, I think uh, what I had on deck was probably better, at least for this comp. And done. I'll take six turns with this comp. I will definitely take that. That's that's solid to me. I'm a fan. All right. This fight's not so bad, at least not with this team and a couple others. So have fun with it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.